Michael Jackson can now perform on stage forever. When the flames were coming up in the back and he was surrounded by real dancers, uh, he felt really like he was there. This spot on 3D projection brought his fans and friends to tears. There were 30, 40 people crying in the first few rows. First Florida businessman John Texter and his digital artist recreated the king of pop. You ain't nothing but and now they're recreating the king of rock and roll. We've announced, of course, we're bringing back Elvis Presley by way of one of these performances. And in working to resurrect dead celebrities, Texter is working on resurrecting himself. We moved back into the, the same office where it all started. His last company, Digital Domain, plunged into bankruptcy because he says a hedge fund bailed on his plans to train his artists before billing them out. We showed up with a plan to lose money. That'll do it. But on top of that, the state of Florida sued and accused him of bilking taxpayers by accepting 20 million state dollars on the promise of jobs before Digital Domain collapsed. But the state confirmed it has settled that suit, and now Texture is looking ahead. Digital Domain ended up getting characterized like a Solyndra or some other great uh, failure. Should it have been? Of course not. He denies the accusations from the state and created a new company called Pulse Evolution. We build digital humans that enhance entertainment. And with that, he plans to show what could or should have been with Digital Domain, and he's basing Pulse Evolution in Port St. Lucie. We're the only company in the world that is building these characters at a very high end. After Michael Jackson, he partnered with American Idol founder Simon Fuller to resurrect Elvis and a new pop star from scratch. Their designers in Florida and California build the characters with details down to the eyelashes. We fuss over the spacing of the eye blinks because that can't be mechanical at all. It's got to just be right. They program them to speak and move however they want, then it's projected and bounced off an angled screen to create a 3D image on stage. The concept is based on the Pepper's ghost effect you see at Disney's Haunted Mansion, but far more advanced. There's a very well-known uh, recent candidate for president who a few years ago called me and asked me if we could bring holographic Obama out on stage to introduce Mitt Romney as the next president of the United States. And uh, while that would have been a lot of fun, that might have been a little too scary. Instead, Romney got a real-life Clint Eastwood fussing at a chair. What do you mean, shut up? But that's not the point. When we're in the world of virtual reality, the humans we meet are not going to be made of flesh and blood. They're going to be digital, and they're going to represent other users. They may represent computers that have artificial intelligence that can think and interact with you. And Texture plans to keep advancing digital humans like the future depicted in Star Trek. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Texter knows politicians in Florida don't trust him, but he trusts in his vision and says he will keep his commitment to Florida. We're at a state with our digital characters where, uh, with a camera two inches off of the bridge of a nose, you cannot tell the difference between our animated humans and your best friend.